This tutorial shows administrators how to make transcripts. You need a Jupyter I.O. account for this feature. There are several screens which affect transcripts, so be sure to set these first. On the Setup Grading Default screen, scroll down to verify your grade point scales. Here is an option to remove plus and minus signs from your grades on transcripts. If you don't have access to this screen, you'll need your system administrator to do this for you. On the Schedule Term screen, pick which term should appear on transcripts. If you don't have that menu, that's fine. It's not needed for some type of schedules. On the Schedule Courses screen, review the Credits and Duration columns. Click any course to edit it. Set the duration first, then set the number of credits. You may optionally set the maximum number of credits a student may earn if repeating that course. Select which GPA scale to use. This affects weighted GPAs, where honors and AP courses earn more grade points for high school, but transcripts also show the unweighted GPA which is typically what colleges use for admissions. Uncheck T to exclude the course from transcripts entirely, or uncheck C and leave T checked for courses that do not count for college admissions, like PE. It will still appear on transcripts, but it does not count toward the unweighted GPA and credits. See the help guide for more details about weighted and unweighted GPAs. On the Setup Schools screen, you can upload your logo for transcripts. Note that if you have multiple schools, transcripts use the same logo for all of your schools. That covers the major setup. Now let's look at Guidance Transcript. At first, no one will have any transcripts, so click Import. Choose Load Grades from Gradebooks. Select which students to include and which term to load. Note you must do this after every term. This is intentional, since teachers might accidentally change their grades after the term ends, so this gives you more administrative control. You may use this option to ensure teachers are done with their final grades. You can check their status by clicking here to see who is not done yet. Also, you may import transcripts from a data file. Typically, you do this for years before you started using Jupyter. See the help guide for details about importing data files. Once grades are loaded, return to the Guidance Transcript screen. Select any student to see their transcript. Click any term, then you can edit the course, grade, or credits for any class, or add or delete entries. You can also add comments. Click here to rename or delete the term. You can do so for the individual student or in bulk for all students in case an import needs fixing. To print transcripts, go to Reports and then Transcripts. Here are several options for what to show. Note you may choose to show coursework in progress, which includes a current snapshot of grades without you having to import them. Then click Preview. If you want to save transcripts as a PDF file, your computer has a way to do that through the Print button. You may also export transcripts as a data file. See Setup, Import Export, and then choose Export Transcripts. See the help guide for details. For transfer students, go to Guidance, Transcript, and click Add Term. Then enter their coursework from their previous schools, usually with a comment to explain what school it was from or you can import this data from a data file. Note that if a student had any honors or AP courses from their prior school, you'll need to do some extra st steps 
to ensure it counts toward their weighted GPA. Go to Schedule, Courses, and create a new course. Make sure to include a T or other descriptor to differentiate it as a transfer course. Then choose the associated GPA with the class that is transferred in. You may also choose to include a descriptor such as T in the course number. You can put the transfer courses in any arbitrary year. You don't need to re-enter it for every year students took the transfer course. On the Guidance Transcript screen, the Backups button shows a complete log of all changes to a student's transcript. You can see who made what changes and when, and you can click any of these changes to undo them.